Hello Calvary, it's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're continuing our study in Proverbs and I have the joy of sharing with you from chapter 12. Now, I hope you're following along with our challenge to read a proverb every single day because uh, that's just wisdom into your life and helps you uh, live your life without being an idiot. So uh, chapter 12 probably has my most often quoted single verse in all of Proverbs in it, and that's the one I want to focus on today. It's verse 18. But before I read that, before I talk about that, do you remember uh, the, the most prevalent lie from childhood? Now, you may think it has to do with winter holidays or fairies that come in the night after you lose teeth or some of these other things, but I think the most prevalent lie growing up was this. When, when people would say mean and nasty things to you and you would go tell your parents or your teacher or some adult, what would they say? Sticks and stones may, may, may break your bones, but words will never hurt me. That is such a lie completely and totally wrong. Words devastate us. They, they pierce our hearts. They stick with us for a lifetime. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18. This is how the English Standard Version says, There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Now, I learned it this way. Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. And, and I want you to, to think about that. I want you to memorize that. I want you to own this verse because it is so important. Think about the imagery. The imagery is of somebody whose words are like just walking into a crowd and swinging a sword recklessly with abandon, not caring who you hit or what damage you cause. That's a fool. But on the other hand, somebody who's wise is like somebody who's bandaging the wounds of the people who have been gouged by the sword. Two totally different contrasts in how we live our lives with our words. And, and I want you to think about that because we're either going to cause harm with our words or we're going to bring healing with our words. Harm or healing. And in other words, God has given you and me the power to bless or the power to curse every single time we open our mouths. Without fail, you've got that power right now to bless the people around you or to curse the people around you. And, uh, and, and this proverb is referenced uh, indirectly by the writers of the New Testament. You know, Jesus said, your words are going to reveal what's in your heart. And what comes out of the mouth reveals the, the anger, the hatred, the, the, all the, the filth that's in us. That, that's what's going to be revealed by your words. The, the Apostle Paul said, let no unwholesome word come out of your mouth. None at all. Only stuff that builds up the people who are listening to it. And the Apostle James, he said, if you can control your tongue, you can control your whole self because it's the, the rudder of your life. So obviously, uh, the message today is simply this. I want to challenge you to bless people with your words, not to curse people with your words. So choose to bless. Choose to bless your family. Oh, I mean, if you're going to bless anybody, it should start at home. And yet, oftentimes, our, our ugliest words are for the people closest to us. So I just want to challenge you. Today, only say words to your loved ones that bless them. Choose to bless your friends. I know a lot of times we tease our friends and joke with our friends, but a lot of times we hurt our friends uh, in, in ridiculing them. I'm going to challenge you to bless your friends today. Bless your coworkers. Bless your neighbors. Guess what? You're even supposed to bless your enemies. The Apostle Paul said, bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. What a challenge. And, and it's because we don't want to be the, like the ones with reckless words, piercing like a sword, chopping up the people around us. We want to be the wise person whose words bring healing. Uh, in fact, verse 25 uh, in the same chapter, uh, Solomon says this, anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Make some people glad. Lift them up. Let your words bless and not curse because it'll change your life. It'll change the lives of the people around you. And after all, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will devastate your life. So live differently, speak differently, bless people, and you'll be blessed as well. That's the word of the day. That's wisdom from Solomon. I hope that you can take it. I hope you can live it. I hope you can speak it and God will bless you.